my name is Jeshri. Uh, we are doing a project in Indian Thermal Power Station. We are from Bentley Kaitech Engineering College. Um, our project title is a Computer Based Boiler Heat Pump Production and Change Over Heat. Actually, uh, we are doing a, a project in a thermal power plant. And so, uh, boiler, so, the boiler heat pumps are used to provide water to the boilers. Um, there will be two power plants. There will be two boiler heat pumps in a, in a thermal power station. One will be in standby mode and other will be in operating mode. Uh, our project in existing systems, uh, actually the uh, heat pump parameters are uh, sense and the boiler change over will be, the boiler heat pump change over will be uh, purely hardware based but in our proposed systems uh, we are using software along with the hardware. Uh, therefore, uh, we are using a PC in it. Uh, the boiler parameters such as temperature and pressure are uh, measured and these parameters are transmitted to the computer where the pressure values are already set. So, if any parameters exceed the uh, limit, uh, exceed the limit, uh, the change over will take place automatically. This is a kit. Actually, it consists of the transformer for that the AC supply will be come and uh, it will be, the, this is the power supply board where the uh, AC, AC will be converted into DC. It consists of a uh, rectifier. It converts into DC and the capacitor is uh, present to remove the ripples and these are the transistors. Uh, which, which is respectively 12 volts and 5 volts and these will, uh, these will divide the uh, DC supply into 12 volts and 5 volts and the 12 volts will be given to the input and the boiler feed pumps and the 5 volts will be given to the ADC and uh, the input these are the ADC and input these are the input parameters we can control the input parameters uh, using this board and it, it is connected to the Analog digital converters and these are the boiler feed pumps, uh, boiler feed pump A and B, and uh, these LEDs will indicate the input parameters. So if we if we alter any uh, parameters like temperature, pressure, working oil pressure, motor, bearing temperature, anything, the the pump will be con uh, the change over from one pump to another pump will take place uh, by using PC. Uh, we can control the overall. Uh, uh, boiler treatment protection so that way we can also protect the boiler and uh, the other turbine generator can also be protected using this piece. Uh, it is cost efficient and it is very reliable. The change over from uh, one pump to another will be very less in 0 point of seconds. In existing system the delay will be more. Uh, so the future scope the scope is to protect the uh, bo uh, boiler using the boiler feed pump in the thermal power plant. By, by using the, uh, the boiler feed pump not only provide water to the boilers, it also indicates the way in which the water is fed to the boilers and uh, there will be two boiler feed pumps. Mm, so that uh, one will be in operating mode and another will be in standby mode. Um, uh, these are uh, these boiler feed pumps will provide continuously continuous water supply to the boilers, so that the operation is not cannot be stopped. Um, <coughs> the parameters like uh, delivery water pressure, suction water pressure, low boil pressure, working boil temperature, mode, uh, motor bearing temperature, and uh, delivery water temperature, suction temperature. These are the parameters, and the certain values will be already set in the computer. If any parameters exceed the uh, limit, the appraised values automatically the change over will occur. In existing system, the delay is more and it is uh, it consists of only hardware components, therefore may, many relays are used. It, uh, it, is, it is complicated, but in the proposed system, we are using PC, therefore uh, the change over will be very fast in 0.2 fraction of megaseconds. And it is very reliable and we are, we are using thermistors and uh, transmitters. We are using thermistors and uh, transmitters in our proposed system. This will, all, this, will, this will make the system very reliable and cost efficient. By using the boiler feed pump, we can also measure the every each and every part of the boiler feed pump and other parameters. <coughs> the entire system is protected. Uh, this, this system, the 
many applications uh, the wallet is going to also have many applications uh, for uh, measuring the temperature of the water and other applications uh, also and control the water supply to the boiler Therefore, uh, in, in a proposed system, we are using, uh, uh, we can't use the microcontrollers and other controllers here yeah, because uh, in a dynamic process, there are many, uh, many components uh, uh, attached. We can't uh, connect everything to the microcontrollers and other. Therefore, we are using the PV based boiler feed one productions. These are the, these are the in parameter indications. The LED will show if any parameter exceeds the limit. These LEDs will indicate them. And uh, this is the and this is the delay. We are using a over current delay here. Uh, does the boiler feed pump change over the indications? And this is the boiler feed pump indication. This is the dry circuit. And this is the second dry circuit. Uh, are, and this, in this case, the uh, all LEDs is blue. And this is the boiler feed pump input. This is the uh, 3 amp transformer. Uh, when there is any problem in the uh, two pumps, and uh, when any indications uh, uh, change over, the boiler change over. Initially, actually, before the uh, uh, if any parameters exceed uh, uh, any fault conditions, the sensor will sense the faults in the pumps, and the and the pump and the changeover between the pumps will take place.